Hi there, I'm Mr. Rizzo from the High School Counseling Office, and I wanted to do a hopefully quick screencast that gives you guys an overview of the application procedures to make sure that everything gets to the college on time and that you guys are able to submit everything accurately. We know that there's a lot involved and this is the first time that you guys have done this and we want to make sure that and it's pretty clear what you need to do and what we're going to do uh, for you and to, to you know how we're going to work with you. So to start off, here's a checklist. You need to obviously fill out and submit the application for every single school that you are applying to. I know that that might seem like common sense, but uh, you've got to make sure that you do it for each and every school. There's three main ways to apply to college. The first is either through the SUNY application, is through the SUNY application, through the common application, or uh, schools have an application that can be found on their own website. So make sure that you follow uh, the directions and dot the I's, cross the T's, do everything that you need to so that you are uh, fulfilling all the requirements for their uh, their application. If you're using the Common Application, do not just simply fall back on what's listed in Common App. Go directly to the school's website and use that as the primary source. That's going to give the most up-to-date, accurate information on what they're requiring of you as far as dates, deadlines, requirements, all that kind of stuff. Go to the school's website. Now, if you are using Common Application, this is what uh, it's going to look like this is my uh, college, my Common App account, and you're going to have to review and submit for each school. And again, I know that might seem like common sense, but if you submit for one school, it doesn't mean that you've submitted for all. So you need to review and submit for every school that you want to apply to. Next, some schools have supplemental pieces that are required of them. And if you're using the Common App, it's pretty clear what that looks like. So it's going to be right here, review and submit writing supplements. So there's going to be different supplements or uh, different things. It will appear right here if there is a supplement to the application. And again, that's listed in Common Application. For the SUNY app, the SUNY app is a little bit different. It's kind of like a two-stage application. The first uh, portion of the application is really pretty easy. It's like seven screens of information. You're going to review, submit it. You're going to pay the whole thing. Um, it, it really is not too bad, but you're not able to uh, do the, uh, the supplemental application, which is the essay and activities and all that kind of stuff, until after you have submitted the initial portion of the application. So again, for the SUNY application, you submit that and then that's when you're able to do the supplemental application that is the essay and activity list. All right, moving along. Send test scores if you plan to submit them. We know that this is a little bit of a, di a different year. Many schools are test optional and some of you will be submitting scores, some of you will not. And again, that's totally okay. But if you are, you need to go to the, to the uh, testing institution's website, either collegeboard.org or actstudent.org, and then send them directly from there to the testing institution. Just kind of plugging them into uh, the common application generally is not um, uh, okay with the schools. They, they generally want them to come directly from the testing institution. Next, the FAFSA. The FAFSA is something that you can do while you're doing the application or it's something you can do after you submit the, uh, the application. But what I would say is do the FAFSA a little bit earlier uh, if you can. In the month of October or November, you would like to get the FAFSA done pr uh, preferably. Uh, the FAFSA is something that everybody should do, even if you're not anticipating that you're going to get aid. In case your family's circumstances change, it is something that is kind of a nice insurance policy to have. It can be found at FAFSA.gov. Next, the CSS profile is a supplemental uh, financial aid um, uh, application. So it's something that some private schools require. It's not something that every private school requires. And if you do, uh, if the school does require the CSS profile, you still have to complete the FAFSA. So it's the FAFSA for sure. And then maybe the CSS profile, go to collegeboard.org. That's where you can complete the, FA the CSS profile. And that's where you're also going to be able to see uh, if it's required. So CSS profile is a supplemental financial aid form. Next, Naviance. So Naviance, I did a, a full screencast on Naviance about 10 days ago, and you can check that out. But uh, just a real quick overview, if you're using Common Application, you can match your Common App account simply by going to uh, colleges I'm applying to, and then there's going to be a button right here that says match, and then you're going to plug in your uh, email address that's associated with the Common App account, 
your birth date, and then you're going to click match over here, and then it will allow the two sites to talk to each other. It just creates an interface between the two, and then all of your Common App schools will populate right here. So you want to make sure that you're able to match the two, uh, the two systems, and that's primarily what you need to do uh, on the college side in Naviance. Next, recommendations. So go again to the school's website and find out what is required. There are some uh, schools that do not even require letters of recommendation, but find out what you need, all right? There are some schools that require two and will only accept two. There are some schools that only require one, but they'll accept up to three. And you really there need to decide what is gonna be appropriate for you. And once you have decided who and how many uh, letters you're going to get, you have to go and ask the teacher in person if, uh, if possible. Um, and then after they've agreed to write for you, that's when you can go into Naviance and invite them. So you would go to uh, apply to college, letters of recommendation. It's going to take a second for it to, to load here, but it's a drop down. You select the teacher, you plug in and that you want it to go to all schools, and then you do, can just type them a quick uh, little note here thanking them. All right, that's what you would need to do in order to get um, uh, the letters squared away in Naviance. Again, find out what you need, then ask the teachers, then go to Naviance. Along the same lines, counselor letters of recommendation. Not every school is going to require a counselor letter, but some of them do. Go to the school's website, find out if it's required. If it is, you're gonna to wanna to touch base with your counselor. Some of us like to have a form, like this is kind of the, uh, the Google form that I'm gonna be using to have students uh, fill out. Uh, ultimately, we wanna make sure that we write a good letter for you, so we're gonna require some additional information. Please, with both teacher and counselor letters, give us enough time. We need at least 10 business days uh, in order to get all of that done. So make sure that you are aware of the dates and the deadlines, okay? Uh, lastly, you need to meet with your counselor in person, virtually or over the phone in order for us to send materials out. There is a section in Naviance where it says uh, you can send uh, a transcript requ request, uh, and it's not gonna load on me here is my guess. So. Um, Yeah, there's a section that says manage transcripts and you could do a transcript request. What I would say is do not even do that. It's not worth doing it, all right? Because we're not looking at those. We're going off of you meeting with us. We want to make sure that you're getting it right and that we're getting it right. And that's what the meeting does is it guarantees that. If we're just going off of uh, our request in Naviance, there's something that we could potentially miss. So we want to, again, make sure that uh, we're sending things to the right spot. We're sending the right things to the right spot. Um, and the best way to do that is with a meeting. It's not to try to make your guys' uh, lives miserable and, and to add an extra step. It's just to guarantee that everything gets to where it's supposed to. We have done this before. You guys have not. So we want to make sure that all pieces get to the right spot. So those are the big checklist items. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop down and see your counselor. In fact, that's what we're hoping you're going to do, all right? Again, we're not going to process process anything until we uh, see or meet with you guys. Okay, I think that's about it. Have a great day.